Hi guys, welcome to Caternix Corner. My name's Terry, and today I want to take a quick minute to uh, show you guys what I do with uh, uh, some of my older eggs, um, eggs that either didn't sell uh, to the retail market or eggs that uh, just got a little bit too old and I don't feel comfortable selling. Um, what I do is I will uh, cut the tops off the eggs and I will bake the shells and I'll scramble up the eggs itself and I'll feed them back to my quail. Now I know a lot of people say, well, you don't want to feed your quail eggs because uh, then they're going to start um, eating their own eggs as they're laying, which I haven't found this to be true. So um, it's a good source of protein and the eggshells are a good source of calcium that you can feed back to your laying hens. Okay, so what I like to do is take a pair of egg scissors and if you don't have a pair of these scissors, um, you might want to invest in a pair of them. Um, they're really inexpensive and they make uh, cutting the tops off your eggs really simple. Uh, basically what you do is you just stick the pointy end of the egg into the scissors. There's a little beveled edge on the scissors. Just stick them in there and then snip off the top. And uh, I'll throw the uh, eggshells on this uh, cooking sheet here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to clean all these eggs up and uh, throwing the eggshells on the cookie sheet we're going to bake them in the oven and the reason i do that is uh, when you bake them um, one it dries them out and two it makes the eggshell really brittle so when you crush it up it crushes it up into small enough pieces um, for your uh, quail to ingest so i'm going to go ahead and do this real quick and then we'll come back and uh, basically just show you real quick how i blend them up and scramble them and then feed them back to the birds Okay, so I've got all the eggs cleaned up and I've got my shells placed on the uh, cookie sheet. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the eggshells and I'm going to throw them in an oven that's preheated to about 350. And uh, we'll let it sit in there until all the moisture dries out of the eggs. And then maybe another three to five minutes uh, just to help the eggs get a little more brittle. So we'll just throw them in there. And our, uh, our uh, eggs we'll take and I'll throw them in a blender and uh, we'll blend them up and then uh, scramble them on the stove. Okay, we got that blended up good. Now we'll go ahead and uh, Take the eggs and we'll throw them in a uh, pan and scramble them up. Okay, I know I said earlier that some people say that you shouldn't feed uh, eggs back to your quail, but quail don't recognize scrambled eggs as one of their own eggs um, they see it as a food source and uh, it's a good source of protein um, so it would be a shame to just uh, let the egg go to waste uh, by throwing it out uh, much better to feed them back to your quail and reap some of the benefits um, of feeding them to your quail <clears throat> okay so we'll go ahead and throw these eggs onto a uh, cookie sheet and then we'll throw them in the oven and just kind of bake a little bit of that excess moisture out of the egg. <clears throat> okay, so I got the eggs taken out of the oven and let them cool down a little bit. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them and throw them in the blender and uh, it'll just chop them up a little bit finer. And uh, yeah, then they'll be ready to feed to the birds. <clears throat> okay, while we got that out, we can go ahead and uh, take our eggshells out of the oven. They should be uh, pretty much done by now. Oh yeah, nice and dry. 
All right, we'll let them cool off a little bit and then we can uh, crush them up. And what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and mix the uh, crushed eggshells in with the eggs because I know that all this is getting fed back to my layers and uh, the extra calcium will kind of help them in their egg laying. Okay, I used to just take the eggs and I would set them outside in the sun and let the sun bake them. Uh, but we've got a lot of fire ants down here in Florida and they always seem to find their way into the eggs. So um, I started doing them in the oven and I also found that by doing them in the oven, it makes the shells a lot more brittle and when they break up, they break into smaller pieces. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna um, smash these, egg, these shells up a little bit and just use a wooden spoon or you can use your hand, whatever you want. Okay, so now that I've got the bulk of the uh, shells crushed into small pieces, I'll go ahead and add it to the blender with the uh, eggs. And you can free feed this, uh, these eggshells back to the bird. You don't have to mix it in with their food. Um, a lot of people prefer to do it that way. Um, the birds are only gonna take what they need, so. Okay. Okay guys, once you've got them ground up, they should be about the same consistency as a uh, crumbled feed. And uh, even if there are a few pieces that are a little bit larger, uh, the quail won't have any problem uh, picking it apart and eating them. Uh, so let's go ahead and head out to the quail room and I'll show you how I feed them back to the quail. Okay, so when I'm feeding the uh, eggs back to the quail, I like to use these little plastic shoebox type feeders. Um, seem to help keep the mess down. Uh, basically just, uh, Pour what you want into each one of these feeders, cap it off, and uh, throw it in with the birds, and they'll go right for it. Okay, so I want to thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful uh, and give you some ideas of what you can do with your leftover eggs and the eggshells. Um, you're definitely going to benefit your quail by feeding them that extra protein and uh, the calcium supplements. Uh, helps to build good strong eggs. So thanks for joining me today guys. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do so. It helps me out and you'll get a notification of any new and upcoming videos. Uh, thanks again and we'll see you on the next one.